welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel welcome my name is obi vincent if you're a regular viewer welcome back to another video today we are training core we're doing a core workout today if you've done any of my core exercises you will know this is going to be another fun one our core is more than just a six pack if you do heavy lifting our core is involved and if you get this stronger you can improve on a lot of your lift if you have a lot of issues especially lower back pain doing any form of core training will help these exercises are one that you probably some you've done some you probably haven't done before and that is what i like to do on my channel is give you exercises that would challenge you and force you to actually do things that is slightly out of your comfort zone as well so hopefully you enjoy this one one thing i want to mention is i know i'm going to get a few questions is oh is this going to give me a six pack abs one that's genetics some of us are meant to have six packs some of us have a four pack that's fine two your diet is the most important thing. We all have abs, it's hidden underneath the fat. So this isn't meant to give you six pack abs. This is just to make your core stronger. And like I said, if you do want to basically see your abs, you have to focus on your diet. And this training would help strengthen your abs and make them look better. But uh, there's more to our abs than just looking good. So remember that. Let's start the video. First exercise is a bird dog row. You want to make sure you place one arm firmly on the bench and then the opposite leg extended out as you can see in the video. This exercise works your core during the rowing phase of the movement which creates instability and requires your core to work really hard to keep you centered. Make sure you brace your core and squeeze your glutes to avoid your lower back sinking down and try and avoid tilting from one side to the other when rowing up. This is a great exercise not only for your abdominals, your obliques and lower back. You can use a dumbbell or kettlebell to perform the rowing movement. This is such a great core strengthening and stability exercise and more people need to be adding this exercise to their routine. With almost all of the exercise in the video, you can also play around with the tempo to make it even more challenging. Next, we have a side plank with banded rows. Now, when I tell you this is one of the toughest yet effective ab exercises, you won't believe me till you try it. This is especially incredible in strengthening your obliques. In a side plank position, making sure your elbows and your shoulders are aligned and placing your foot on top of each other. I'm using a light band here, which I have doubled over. You want to make sure that you are far away from the bar the band is tied around to create enough tension once you row the band back. Notice how my abs contract as soon as I row that band. This just shows you how hard my core has to work when rowing the band whilst in the plank position. Make sure your hips don't drop down, so keep a nice straight line. Hence, you want to make sure again you engage your glutes and brace your core. To scale this down and create a bit more stability, you can have one foot in front, as you can see in the video. Now to progress this, take the top leg up whilst rowing the band. Believe me, this is much harder than it looks. It's such a great exercise in general to really work your core in a way you are probably not used to. This exercise I call the Superman, which is a very fitting name if you ask me. This time we shall be in a plank position, but on your hands rather than elbows. Same principle applies when in this position, core braced, glutes engaged. Now, as you can see in the video, we will be raising one arm off the floor and the opposite leg also. So right arm up and left leg up. This creates instability and will require a lot more core engagement to keep you stabilized and avoid falling over. Bracing your core here is very important because if you don't, you will feel very unstable and move around too much. And the idea of this exercise is to keep your body neutral with minimal movement except for your arms and legs that are off the floor. <music> 
To scale this, you can have your knees on the floor. And to progress this, all you have to do is hold the pose for a longer duration during the extension. So for example, you can hold the pose for three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, etc. Okay, everyone. So if you are enjoying this workout program, make sure you check out my Crosslifter training app. It has a more structured program that you can follow from bodybuilding to conditioning, dumbbell only training, kettlebell only training, functional training to mobility. Every single one of these programs all included in the app and you have a seven day free trial and a month to month contract, which you can cancel whenever you want. So if you want a more structured program that you can follow, make sure you check out my app. I'll put the link in my description for you to find out more information. The Renegade Row is another incredible core exercise, very similar to the Bird Dog Rows, however, this time in a plank position. The dumbbell should be aligned with your delt and you should have your arms shoulder width apart. I like to have my feet about shoulder width apart also. This is to help with better stability, but this is a preference and you can keep them close together if you prefer. As mentioned before, make sure you engage your glutes. Now, before you row the dumbbells up, you want to take a deep breath and brace your core and then row the dumbbells. A very simple yet effective analogy of bracing your core is just imagine someone is about to hit you on your stomach. Your automatic reaction will be to tense your abs for the hit. And that's usually what I mean by brace your core. So hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully. Notice how I am making sure to keep my body in a straight line and trying to avoid tilting from one side when I row the dumbbell off the ground. Again, very similar to the bird dog rows. The great thing about the renegade row is you can increase the weight to make this more challenging. Plank pass through is an exercise that focuses on working the obliques due to the rotational movement. Just like the previous exercise, make sure to brace your core and engage your glutes in the plank position. Pay attention to how I perform this and notice how my obliques are engaged and under tension during the rotational movement. I like to squeeze my obliques like it owes me money when I reach under to grab the weight. The heavier the weight, the harder this exercise becomes, which is a way you can progressively overload this exercise. You can also use stack of plates to make this more challenging. Unlike the plank, your glutes will come up slightly when you're reaching under, and that's absolutely fine. But make sure when you try and reach the weight, you still try and keep your body as centered as possible. Don't allow your body to turn towards the weight too much. The main thing that you are moving is the arm that will be picking up that weight. And that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. It helps more people see my awesome, incredible out of this world content, uh, which I'm pretty sure you all agree. <laughs> yeah. So once again, thank you for watching until the next time. Peace out. Peace out.